Hello and welcome to this Designing Music Now review and first look at Cinematic Studio Strings by Cinematic Samples. There's a new sheriff in town and it's Cinematic Studio Strings. They sound really amazing. It has a great engine and it is mind-blowing, especially when you pair it with the Cinematic Studio Piano, as we will do in this review. So as a pianist, uh, as a person that loves classical music, this is really a dream come true. It is super easy to use. All of the articulations are available at your fingertips, and it's really, really fun to play. So let's check it out. So let's first of all take a listen to the full ensemble, and notice how uh, easy the interface is to look at. It's uh, super easy uh, to use and see what's going on. Got it all right in front of you. Let's take a listen. Here are the sustains. So those are the monophonic sustains, and it has a reverb th feature here, but you don't need it. In fact, they recommend that you don't use it because it's uh, recorded with a mix of all the mics already in place. It's recorded at the Trackdown Studio in Sydney, Australia, and so you don't really need to have any reverb added in, but let's hear how it sounds with a little bit of reverb. Well, actually, that's a lot. It's, this is basically a hall emulation. Go ahead and turn that back off so you can hear the natural recordings. And okay, and so now I'm going to play both the studio piano and the cinematic studio strings together. That was just improvising with the sustains and the piano. I just, I'm really floored. In cinematic studio strings, there are three legato choices. It's the easiest to play a uh, classic legato, which was the older system that they had in, in the cinema strings too. However, to get maximum realism, they actually have an advanced feature here, which allows you to actually take into account these subtle swells that occur before the next note is played. And if you play, this is called legato speed, but it doesn't recur, or it doesn't mean the speed at which you play. In other words, if you go play quickly, that doesn't matter. It's actually the the velocity. So there, if I play a, play very softly, you'll hear that swell before the next note. Now if I play the second note louder, it'll be faster. And if I play in the mezzo forte, Those were all slow. So you can hear the legato, and it almost creates that slurred legato effect. So it probably takes some time to get used to, but um, it's the kind of thing that really gives you a lot of control over the type uh, and the realism of the legato. Very natural, very beautiful sounding legatos. Now let's check out the staccatos. And what's really cool about this is you can actually move through different types. So that was, um, let's try this sforzando. Now staccato. Staccatissimo. And spiccato. Mm -hmm. 
very nice for the basses there. Um, let's check out the tremolos. These are legato, so I'll have to play monophonically. It had the consorts on. Let's take the mutes off now. Very nice. And this is the whole orchestra, by the way. So um, if I take legato off, I can do a tremolo for the whole orchestra. It's really nice. And we're going to talk about this in a minute here. Actually, let's go on up and talk about it now. So sustain, the legatos are off. I'm going to turn the consorts off. And this gives you the, the amount of uh, crescendo into the note. So this is when the attack is at zero here. It's basically no lead in. Now, if I do an extreme example here. And this is the release you can also easily adjust here. This will be a very quick release. So if I take these to the extremes, you can see basically, oops, let's bring that all the way over. So you don't want that. You want something like, you know, some more moderate looking envelope here. Of course, this can be done with a, uh, you can learn any MIDI CC on it. Very, very nice uh, functionality there. So let's go ahead and check out the trills. These are done when you have uh, two notes playing uh, either a whole note trill or a half note trill. Try those with the mutes. Very nice. Measured tremolo, tremolo is good for getting, if you play really quickly, for example, here, I recommend, it's, it is tempo sync, so if I go all the way down here, you'll hear a sort of a, a stutter note. They recommend you go between 150 and maybe 180, and you play quickly. Now let's check out the Mercato. It's got a spiccato overlay on it. Take it off. Turn it back on. Very nice for quick runs. Uh, spicato, uh, here's pizzicato, and you've got three different types. Here's the basic one. Always like to check the reverb out when you've got pizzicato on. That's really nice. Take the reverb back off and go to the Bartok snap. So now let's try the Colino, and that's basically you use a pencil or something to get the effect of the pizzicato sound. As all, it has the consort on. Let's try the consort off in the col uh, the Colino. So those are the uh, what's called this full ensemble patch, which is really nice. You can also adjust the various uh, types. Uh, you can lower the basses, you can lower the cellos. Let's go back to sustain. So really great for quick prototyping. Check out the basses by themselves. A 
legato basses. Let's try the chords. Let's go on, check out the old uh, cellos. This will be the legatos. Beautiful. Check out the legato. The yeah, sustain non legato. Very nice. Try them with consorts on. Beautiful. Tremolos. Very, very nice. Just loving the strings here. Let's just check out the violas real quick. Love it. All right, so now let's try, go ahead, keep the, let's check out the staccatos. Monics. Trills. Very cool. So now let's go on to the piano. Let's check this bad boy out. This is the, the Cinematic Studio Piano. That is freaking beautiful. That's I want to do something fun and uh, show you the uh, piano, the cinematic studio piano effects. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty great. Let's try another couple of those. Great for any horror film. Really awesome. Now I'm gonna just try something else here where we have, we'll have all the strings and all the, and the pianos playing as well. So let's see how that sounds. Let's try just maybe if I put the trills on. Pretty cool. Let's try Mercado Run. Dude, just love it. Let's try it with pizzicato, with the uh, regular pizzicatos. Pretty nice. Let's try one last thing here.
So there you have a first look at the Cinematic Studio strings and the Cinematic Studio piano. I love it. I hope you do. I hope you enjoyed this review. Head on over to cinematicstrings.com to get this library. It is really fantastic. And be sure to head on over to designingmusicnow.com and check out more reviews, podcasts, articles, all kinds of information about composing music for video games and interactive music. Hope to see you there, and thanks for listening.